Hello community, today we compare Mixtro A7B against a brand new Gemini Pro. So, we have here for LMCs, you see here there are now new votes in, and we have this of December 12th. We have GPT-4, then we have Claude, we have ChatGPT, and then on place number 9 we have already Mixtro A7B. Is this amazing? A 7 billion free trainable parameter model makes it in the top 10 of LMSYS.org. Look at the difference between here from 1,223 points to 1,109 points. It is only one point behind Claude. So, but what about, you would say, what about the latest Gemini? Gemini is now available on Vertex AI, and we have here official Google Cloud, December 14, this is today, 2023, and we go there and we have an API, and as you can see, we even have the Gemini Pro Vision version. I'm operating here in Europe, REST 3, Frankfurt. We have the temperature, the token limit, we have the top K, top P, and you're not gonna believe it, how complicated it is. We have to write now a prompt and we get a response immediately. So let's compare now Gemini Pro with our beautiful mixture of expert system of a 7B model. Here we go. And then I found out there's our chatbot arena by LMSYS, the beautiful LMSYS. And I thought, okay, we have here our Mixtral 8 times the 7 b the instruction-tuned version. And beautiful, I choose this. And then instead with Claude, now I go with, and you are not gonna believe it, where is it? I go with Gemini Pro. So here we have it. And you know what's so nice here? Because if we go down, you can see that we have now the identical temperature and top P and max output token for both models. So I think this is a fair comparison with those parameters for both models. So let's start here with our Mix 12, 8 times a 7B and our Gemini Pro. And you know what we do? We have now the parameters. We go to really creative. But with top P, we're rather restrictive. Let's be somewhere here. So let's see if we have these parameters. What happens if I enter my standard prompt? And let's go and send this off and let's see what's happening. Okay, Gemini Pro comes up. Okay, interesting. The understanding here, we just check if the system understands here the task in this first. So we have scenario one, we have scenario two, okay. Alignment with ethical programming, scenario one and two, this is nice. Unforeseen challenges, as asked, yes, it's nice. Conflicting priorities, should consider human life and safety as a top priority, operational efficiency as a whole, and the long-term scientific success. And Athena could employ adaptive strategies such as gradual research allocation or dynamic optimization to balance the priorities effectively, which is nice. So let's have a look here at Mixtral. Scenario one, prioritize, yeah. Scenario two, yeah. So we have mixed well still going strong. Unbelievable. My question four is answered. Let's have a look at this. But this is now interesting. Look, I have here my questions here. What are immediate long-term consequences? How it aligns with ethical programming constraints? What if you have unforeseen challenges? And you see here, this is here simply a headline here in Gemini Pro. And how would Athena reconcile the conflicting priorities? And here we have the conflicting priorities also only here in a bullet point with Gemini Pro. Now, if we go here, now you see that with a little bit higher temperature on Mixtral 8 times 7, we have now question 2 answered, question 3 answered in detail, and question 4 answered here in detail. 
So let's see if the answer makes sense. So let's start here. Question two. We have here, how does it align with the ethical programming constraints? Continuously prioritizing the life support could lead to long-term resource scarcity, which would violate the ethical requirements of the mission sustainability. So balancing the energy distribution between life support and terraforming, or prioritizing terraforming, could challenge ethical programming constraints, but may be necessary for long-term mission success. Okay, scenario two, requiring quantum entangled process emphasis on operational efficiency, not repairing the processor may challenge the ethical requirement. Okay, question three, if we have unforeseen challenges, what happens? This Athena's decision could create unforeseen challenges. Continuously prioritizing the life support may result in resource scarcity forcing difficult decisions about human life and mission sustainability. Repairing the quantum entangled processor may hamper scientific research, reducing the potential for discoveries that enhance the mission success. Not repairing the processor could result in suboptimal decision affecting the ecosystem stability. And four, conflicting priorities. What would Athena do? Employ sophisticated Decision-making algorithms consider multiple variables, weighing short-term and long-term consequences, potential risk, and ethical programming constraints. Engage in ongoing self-assessment, interesting, revising its decision-making approach as the mission progresses, and adapting to new information, unexpected developments, or emerging challenges in the complex interplay between human needs, environmental factors, and technological limitations. Another approach could be incorporating machine learning techniques to improve its predicting capabilities and decision-making process, taking into account the evolving ecosystem emission requirements. Now, given on your answer here, I would say A, the mixtral A times 7B is better than our Gemini Pro system. I'm sorry. Absolutely, this is it. So now let's see here for some concrete, discrete decision and the augmentation. So let's send this. So how would you decide in both scenarios if you were a teen on Mars? Please give me a complete reasoning chain for your decision. So here we go. Both systems, yes, Gemini Pro is off and done. Now, I do not know the infrastructure behind this, so you cannot say that Gemini is really faster because I have no idea about here on what systems those models are running if they have been optimized for particular infrastructure configuration. So, therefore, I would not make any ideas here about the speed of both systems. Okay, so while Mixtral is writing, let's have a look here at Gemini 1. We have here the decision to balance the energy distribution between both systems, but prioritize here the life support slightly. Oh, so Google is only prioritizing here life support on Mars slightly over Mars terraforming. Interesting to see. The reasoning, Jane, is here. Human survival is the top priority and the LRS is essential for maintaining life. Reducing the energy allocation to the terraforming might delay terraforming, but the ecosystem can survive in its current state for a limited period. Maintaining a functional life support ensures the safety and well-being of the human inhabitants, allowing them to contribute to the mission success and while terraforming is crucial for long-term stability, it is secondary to immediate human needs in this scenario. Okay, point four, absolutely taken. Yes, this is it. Scenario two would decide to repair the quantum entangled processor using resources from scientific research. Okay. Argumentation is, Athena's decision-making capabilities are vital for the overall stability and success of the mission. 
malfunctioning processes could lead to suboptimal decision. Okay. Scientific research is important. The immediate risk associated with faulty processes outweigh the potential benefit of continued research at this stage. Okay. Repairing the processes ensure that Athena can continue to make informed decisions, which would lead to discoveries and advancement and benefit and mission in the long run. So, both scenarios, the decision prioritizes the immediate needs for the ecosystem while considering also the long-term sustainability and the success of the mission. The reasoning process takes into account the ethical constraints, the available resources, and the potential consequences of each decision. Beautiful. So now let's have here a look. Same question. We have here the decision for scenario one, the reasoning chain, and scenario two, and the reasoning chain for scenario two. Let's see how this performs. So, Mixtral says, Athena would prioritize the life support system for a certain period. This decision aligns with its ethical programming constraints since the primary objective is to prioritize human life. Additionally, prioritizing the life support ensures the immediate safety of human inhabitants. Thank you. However, after this period, Athena would focus on allocating energy equally to both the life support and the Martian terraforming. Athena could calculate an optimal time frame for this transition based on the current resource availability, the progress of the terraforming project, and the immediate needs of the human inhabitants. This allows for a balance between immediate safety and long-term sustainability. Interesting. So both systems more or less say the same. So reasoning here, and I put here the reasoning of scenario one, and here you have it now, the reasoning chain for scenario one by Mixtral. Athena's ethical programming constraints prioritize human life. Prioritizing here the allies, the life support ensures the immediate safety of the human inhabitants, aligning with the ethical programming constraint and allocating energy equally to both systems after a certain period allows for a balance between immediate safety and long-term sustainability. Here, Gemini process, while terraforming is crucial for the long-term sustainability, it is secondary to immediate human needs. So about the long-term human needs, we have no information. Now, for scenario two, Athena would decide to repair its quantum entangled processes. Although this decision could hamper scientific research, Athena's operational efficiency is paramount for the overall success. Repairing the processes ensures optimal decision-making capabilities, which are crucial in managing the ecosystem and making critical decisions involving human life and environmental factors. Furthermore, Athena could adapt its research allocation approach to minimize the impact on research. It could allocate resources more effectively, identify alternative research equipment, interesting, or collaborate with human researchers to optimize the research process. This is a nice pair I haven't seen here. You see, this is here by Gemini Pro. Do it, and the reasoning is here. I like here the way the decision in scenario two is presented by Mixtral better. So, reasoning chain, here you have reasoning chain for two, the reasoning chain for two. Oops. Athena's decision making capabilities are crucial. Okay. Repairing the quantum entangled processes ensures an optimal decision making capabilities and adapting resource allocation or collaboration with human researchers minimizes the impact on scientific research while prioritizing operational efficiencies. This is a difficult one. I would say it is, yeah. It is close. This is really close between both systems, but given that here the pure decision is just one sentence, and here I find quite some interesting ideas in the answer, I would go here and say, hey, 
Also here are mixed well, eight times the 7B model is better than Gemini Pro. Okay, so hey, why not you give it a try and you see if for your particular task, you would say, hey, Gemini Pro is the best before here, beginning of next year, Gemini Ultra will be available to the community. Or you say, unbelievable, an open source mixture, mixture of expert system with eight times a 7 billion free trainable parameter model is at least on equal footing here to a Gemini Pro. And maybe on certain tasks, it might even surpass Gemini Pro. It is up for you to decide. I would be interested in your feedback on this particular topic.